Hey everyone, this is Ryan Casada, and I'm here with Maddie Boy and my dog Jeffrey that is currently licking me all over. And today we're going to make a video about BDSM. I am a transsexual male. Um, I got into BDSM when I was very freshly 18. Legal, but I was barely 18 when I got into <laughs> it. <laughs> but it's been lifestyle ever since. So what does BDSM stand for? A lot of people kind of have their own breakdown of what it means, but the way that I learned is that it's, uh, it's actually six, I think it's six words. It's um, bondage, discipline, dominant, submissive, sadist or masochist or sadomasochism, one or the other. Cool, I didn't know that. So it kind of covers all the things that we do outside of, you know, fetishes and kinks and things like that. And what's the difference between a kink and a fetish? It's basically just the uh, level of uh, arousal, I guess is the best way to put it. It's, you know, a kink is like something you like that gets you kind of hot, and a fetish is something that's like really intense, something that you really fixate on. A fetishist is someone that's very specific, like something that they're really, really into, and a kink is like, oh yeah, I think that's kind of hot, I kind of like that. And all of this happens during a play session? Not always. I mean, there's a lot of people that bring kink mainly into the bedroom, but there's a lot of people that don't. There's a lot of people that it's completely separate or it overlaps. Play sessions are, I mean, they can be sexual, but um, a lot of play sessions, it's, you know, it's just uh, topping and bottoming, whether it's a fetish related thing that doesn't involve pain or it's, you know, involves some sort of, uh, I don't know, pain level on okay. either side. Yeah. And what's the difference between a top and a bottom? Um, well, a top is normally the person that is uh, providing whatever it is that is going on in the, in the scene, and then the bottom is the person receiving it. So that would be the difference between a bottom and someone being submissive and someone being dominant? No. Um, the difference between a submissive and a bottom um, is that a bottom is somebody that likes to be on the receiving end of something. So they like to get beaten, they like to get, you know, played with um, as the receiver. Um, but a submissive is somebody that likes the um, the mental aspect of it too. They like okay. to be like in service to somebody. Um, they like to be mentally submissive to someone. And okay. same for a dominant. A top is someone that provides whatever the, the thing is that's going on in the scene. And then a dominant is somebody that by nature or in the relationship or mentally is the more dominant person. So if someone wants to get into BDSM, how would they get started? Um, well, I mean, it's it can be something, I mean, for me, it was community. It was that I met somebody who knew somebody and then I went into this different world that I'd never been in and it kind of opened up my mind a little bit and I started exploring things um, and then it just kind of turn into this like, yep, this is totally what I want to do. This is fucking rad. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. A really important question. What are safe words and why are they important? So a safe word is a specific word you have between, for a lot of people, it's a universal. A lot of people use the word red, for example. So if you're doing a scene with somebody or even if it's, you know, in bed, whatever it is, if someone is going too far and you need them to absolutely stop, you use your safe word. And it's a, you know, before you do a scene with anybody, and I mean, of course, if it's like someone that you play with all the time, they'll know, but if it's someone that doesn't know, then you need to say, this is my safe word. And then they know if you say red or closet. So then. this needs to be established before you yeah, can get into Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can get yourself into some bad situations, you know, to some people saying, stop, no, I don't like that. It's like just part of their scene. They may not know what you actually mean they want, that you want them to stop. And how do you talk about this with your partner? If it's the first time you've ever brought it up with a partner, um, most of the time it's, I mean, it's comfortable to say something like, so have you ever thought about like doing something like this? And then talk to them a little bit and then say, do you think you'd be comfortable trying that with me? Um, or, I mean, the same way that you talk about um, anything that is going to be, uh, that would be integrated into your relationship. It's okay. the same sort of thing. Is there anything that you want people to know about BDSM that people don't normally know? Number one, it was one of the most uh, non-judgmental places that I had ever been. Wow. Um, I came out when I was 15, and 
I had no problem in that situation. I had no problem showing my body mm -hmm. at all because there's no gender role. Wow. There's women that are incredibly dominant. There's men that are incredibly feminine and the cross dress. There's, there's every single level of gender role is there. So it was completely comfortable for me. That's awesome. Um, people don't judge, you know, it's like, I'm a guy that likes to dress up like a girl and you know, mm -hmm. I want you to call me this. People are like, okay, whatever. Yeah. Um, and we're not all abused. Mm -hmm. I was never abused. I was okay. never sexually abused. I was never physically abused. Mm -hmm. It's just something that I like. I don't know why. I mean, some of us don't. Some of us might. Yeah. Some of just us. Just whatever yeah. you like. Everyone has their own thing. Just preference. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Cool. Is there any, like, misconceptions? Like, what's the number one misconception? Hmm. That BDSM is only something related to sex. Okay. For sure. Um, BDSM had nothing to do with sex. For me for mm -hmm. a long time wow um like the first nine months of my first well mm -hmm. my only uh real dominant submissive relationship that i was in um what we were not intimate i mean it was very intimate mm -hmm. but we were never we were not sexual with each other for yeah. a long time um of course it, it can be mm -hmm. i mean and it, it at some point it was but not in the beginning it doesn't have to be for a lot of people it's not you know it's mm -hmm. just something completely separate for them Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're so well spoken. Yeah. All right. Go Peace get everyone. go get into some cool shit with your partner. Yeah, do it up. I can't shut the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, go turn off the camera. <laughs> <laughs>